What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Electro Productions. I'm Jay, and I'm thrilled today to bring you a game by the name of Botlike, a fun little 2D side-scrolling roguelike shooter. Without further ado, roll intro. <laughs> Okay, so one of the reasons I'm so excited about this video is this game is actually pretty simple and it's not a bad thing, so I can actually finally do a shorter video. I keep promising myself with all the videos I've been doing lately, this one's going to be shorter, this one's going to be shorter, it's not going to take as much editing, it's okay, it won't be that bad, and four to five hours later, I'm sitting there kicking myself for jumping in on yet another video so quickly. But this video, it's going to be a lot shorter. So let's jump right in and cut to the chase. With it being early access, all we've got is start new game and exit game. So pretty straightforward there. Okay, and one of the things that you can do here right away is, and I've I played it with the controller before, so I haven't played with mouse and keyboard yet, but I definitely want to. So you can go in here and you can purchase perks in the tuning workshop. And there's a lot of different perks to choose, and I have a feeling there's going to be even more added once the full game comes out in full access. So for now, let's move on. We'll buy some of these in a little while. And then here is a weapon shop, so you can purchase weapons with the gold that you've earned. Now right now, whenever I die, it seems like I lose all the gold that I had. So I'm not exactly sure how that works, but um, that remains to be seen. Yeah, I'm sure that's coming with later iterations of the game. The game has a double jump and you can jump off of surfaces. Jumping off of surfaces is a little bit tough, and it takes a little bit of practice. Uh, not a complaint there, that's fine. I don't mind games that challenge you. Oh boy, I'm, in, I'm really in it already. Hold on a minute. Oh my god, multiple. So this is the most intense it's ever been uh, right after starting. I might, I might actually die right here. And because I'm not playing with the controller like I had been playing on my first run through, when I tried the game out, there is a dash button that I haven't figured out quite yet on the keyboard. Man, this guy's not going down. Let's see, which one is the dash key? Oh, it's the right mouse button. Okay, so that was horrific. Uh, that was terrible. That's what not to do. But now that I've uh, gotten the controls down, I think we're going to do a little bit better here. Okay, so right mouse button is my dash. So the basic premise here is very, very simple. You're working your way through fairly linear level, and you're just taking on a variety of different enemies and gaining what looks to be like gears, which is the game's currency, trying not to take damage. Uh, it, it helps, it seems to build up a kill streak on the upper left-hand corner. These guys really are tough. So these, whoa, whoa, yep, right there. I was going to say, they kind of power up into like a ball form, and then they rocket at you at alarming speed and do a lot of damage. I managed to avoid most of the damage they dealt there, which is, which is a good thing. These little plasma shooters are more of a nuisance, really. They don't do a lot of damage, but as you can see, if they gang up on you... Man... And the enemies have a fairly good jump radius, and I never have as much of a, a jump range as I think I do, so I end up taking a lot of damage just from getting too close to the enemy. But I tell you what, that dash is utterly invaluable. Oh, I thought I got that guy. And I did not. These little guys down here that's coming at me, they've got pretty heavy shielding, but they drop a lot of gears. So let's see what he's got for offer. Now, I haven't tried the Capitalist gun yet, Old money causes pain on contact. Ice cream gun, it tastes stunning. Ha ha ha. Let's try this. You found capitalist gun, get more kills through kills. Okay, so that's a perk. Because it's on the bottom right hand corner there. You do purchase weapons in this game, and then you can use said weapons uh, as long as you have ammunition for them. So we've got another. He's got the shotgun, scrap clover pin, extra luck, extra shot. I like the perks in this game. Look at this guy. This is a landmine. If he gets close to you, he will set. He will plant himself and set himself off immediately. So as I've said already, I really, really like the art style. Oh, 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 oh. 
myself into a conundrum here. There we go. Another one. It's okay. Keep on coming. I'll take all your gears. With pleasure. That guy. The game is... I would say the game is challenging. But I've never felt like the game is cheap. So, I mean, they may throw a lot of enemies at you at once in, like, a tight corridor. But... Let's get the shotgun, the scrap clover. So now I've got two different perks. So for this shotgun, I've got 43 rounds. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my main weapon and save the shotgun for when I get in a pickle. If something just damaged me. I'm not sure what it is. Now, I will say this. One thing that I'm not crazy about that I'd like to see improved upon is how dark the game is. Uh, yes, the glowing lanterns add a nice aesthetic to it. But, I'm, I'm very likely going to die here. So, let's get out the shotgun. Let's see if I can... Yep. Man, this is actually... That right there was one of the most uh, challenging rounds that I've had yet. So, let's go ahead and use some of the... I'm not sure what these things are that you get. But, whatever they are. These little, like, cards. These circuit boards. And let's upgrade... I'm actually going to upgrade my damage, because I would like to continue to be able to do a little bit more damage. And as I said before, my currency's gone. It seems like I lose all of my currency whenever I die. I'm sure that that is something that you can get like a perk or an upgrade for uh, later in the game, and uh, you'll be able to retain some of your currency, so it may benefit you to hold on to some of it, and you can bank it. I don't know. So... Bottom line, I love the combat. It's a lot of fun. I like the enemies. They're creative and enjoyable to to fight. Now, I don't think I can get up there. I think I would need, like... Oh, I can get up there. Let's open up this chest. These chests here, you found inverter magnet knockback robots since forever ago. Okay... And what is this right here? Oh, it's a launch pad. Here I was worrying all about how I was going to get up there, and in all actuality, it would have launched me up there. That's okay, though. I'm going to use that launch pad to help me to combat the rocket launcher there. Uh oh Am I going to get hurt? No, it, it paused it. I got a gold pocket watch. It said something about slowing down time. So I'm guessing every once in a while it'll help me out of a pinch if I'm about to get injured. It'll slow down time around me. It's an assumption. I don't know. This round's going closer to how the first... I think I actually played two rounds. Um, I played one and died almost immediately and then played another before uh, going ahead and hitting that record button. Oof. Yeah, it just seems like I've been playing a lot of... Uh, pretty bad games lately, so whenever I'm playing something, especially an early access title that runs well, it's so encouraging to me. And this is like the perfect early access, in my opinion. You've got a game that is got the basics down, and now is ready to start putting on coat after coat of polish. And that's awesome. It's It's got the... Ooh, it's about to get heated up in here. One, one thing that I'm not as crazy about is the jump. I'd like to see the jump tweaked. And what I mean is, it, it doesn't it doesn't feel smooth. The jump doesn't feel smooth. It feels it feels off in some way. It, it gets you by, but it's not in a game like this where small movements make all the difference. You got to have everything down perfect. And again, I mean, they've got a really good foundation here. They've got a very sound foundation for a game that can just grow and get better. So I'm sure that that's something that they can tweak. With the jump, what it's doing is, is it wants you to hit jump again at the apex of the first jump if you're wanting to get, you know, height. So if you're like me and you're panicking because you're not very good yet at the game, then you want to sit there and pump that space bar to get, you know, your double jump right away, but what you actually do is you take about 50% of your second jump away when you just sit there and pound the, the space bar. So you're a lot better off doing a methodical, slow, purposeful... Ooh, he is big. Come on. Go down. There we go. 
You're better off doing a slow and methodical jump. Which means... Okay. Do you see what I mean about the... That just killed me. Do you see what I mean about being too dark? Maybe you saw it. I didn't even see that enemy until he hit me. And these are all pretty minor complaints. I mean, it'd be pretty easy to brighten things up a little bit. Maybe they're not going to change the jump, and maybe I just need to get better. I will say this, the jump was actually a lot easier with the controller. However, you don't get the same aiming accuracy. So I actually found movement in general easier with the controller. However, aiming with the mouse is much sharper, cleaner, easier. So it's sort of a catch-22, at least for me. Maybe you'll find that not to be the case, and you'll just love one or the other. Here we go. Gatling. I love the Gatling gun. You go through ammo really quick. I'm going to switch back to my main weapon here and try to pick off. There it goes. Gatling cannon is out. Now there's a spin-up time for the Gatling cannon. Which I think is good because it definitely is a powerful weapon. jumped over his head and actually moved towards him. We're down to 23 shots now on the Gatling Cannon, so we're almost out here. And my health's at 31, I believe. So... So there's a sniper rifle, and they're pretty nice. A lot of ammo. We'll go ahead and use the rifle a little bit here, so you guys can see it. So, a good... Now, the, the reload on the rifle is a little on the slow side, on purpose. Again, I'm going to go ahead and heal up a little bit here. But the nice thing about the rifle is, especially on even terrain, you go through multiple enemies. One more shot. There it is. So there's those cards that you get that allow you to raise your perk levels. Ooh, got him right in the nick of time. We got some scrap. Another little heal. So our health's all the way back up. This is uh, definitely my best round yet. Of course, I probably just jinxed myself. So here you go. Here's the jump. I find the jump to be a lot harder with the mouse and keyboard. There it goes. Takes a little practice there. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, in a nutshell, this is what the game has to offer right now. I don't know if there's any boss or anything that you can get to right now as of yet. I just know that you can continue to do uplocks, uh, uplocks, unlocks and upgrades. I guess you could shorten that down to uplocks, but, uh, and then you can continue to play through and hone your skills. The only thing really that they have to offer here is the two different stores here and the one you can't really use because you don't hold on to or retain any of the currency that you earn in the last level that you played. But I find this to be fun. And the fact that the game is so simple and that I feel compelled to keep playing it is a good sign. So guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. If this game looks like fun to you and it looks like something you're interested in, I would recommend maybe throwing it on your wish list on Steam. If it's something that you feel like you're really excited about and you want to play pretty much what you've seen me play here, then it is for sale in early access. But uh, I am really looking forward to see where this game goes and what more content comes with it with its full release. That's going to do it for me today, guys. I should have another video up this evening. I've been working on one all day today, a much, much bigger production, and that one is processing right now, and I'll post it up as soon as it's done. As always, appreciate your time, appreciate you stopping by, and you guys have a great day.